if the universe is infinite, which it may well be, in fact, the, the, there are many ways the universe can be infinite, then um, that would happen. Because everything, it, if, it's, if it's in accord with the laws of physics, then it can happen. And everything that can happen in an infinite universe will happen, because the universe is formally infinite. So I contend, and I'll probably get emails about it, but I'm trying to think whether there's any counter-argument. I don't think there is. I contend that in an infinite universe, even the most unlikely possibility must happen. In fact, formally, an infinite number of times. One of the more widely accepted theories about hominin evolution is that climate change played a key role. And actually, there's, in my latest series, Human Universe, we, we, we focused on a, a theory which links the climate change, particularly in the Rift Valley, because we, we know that the big jumps in brain size all occurred in the Rift Valley of Africa, and it's quite remarkable, actually. And that, that broadly speaking, accepted, I think. Although there's a lot of argument with anthropologists, because the data is sparse, you know. But it's broadly accepted. And it seems that the big jumps in um, brain size occurred at times when the Earth's orbit was most elliptical. So the Earth's orbit oscillates, it becomes more elliptical and more circular, and there are many different oscillations driven by gravitational interaction with the planets, like Jupiter in particular. And it seems like when the, the Earth's orbit is most elliptical, that the rate of climate change in the Rift Valley is, is, is higher and more extreme. And it seems to be the case that there's relatively strong evidence for the case that when you get these really rapid times of climate change, as you mentioned, then you get increases in hominin brain size, therefore increases in intelligence. There's a big, big one, 1.8 million years ago, which was a very big increase in the number of species in the Rift Valley, um, of which Homo erectus was one of them, which eventually led to us. And during the nuclear physics, we, we didn't know. We, we didn't know there was an atomic. Rutherford discovered the atomic nucleus in Manchester in a... I was it 1912 or something? I should know, but anyway, something like 1912, 1913. So he discovers the nucleus, and within 30 years, you have an atomic bomb. <laughs> they didn't even know. And, and Rutherford was actually asked at the time. He said, so "It's the usual question we get as physicists." They say, "What's the use of this?" And, uh, and, and Rutherford said, "There's no use to it." He said, "Anyone who thinks that you could use this as an energy source is talking moonshine." <laughs> <laughs>